Right, come on, Jason. You're multitasking today. Come on. Come on. What do you mean multitasking? Multitasking. What's multitasking? Yeah, you'll see. Just follow me. I'm a bloke. I don't multitask. Yeah. You're not very professional with that camera, are you? Come on. You're a bit of a walk. Yeah. Okay. We're our customers. Yeah. <laughs> Safe journey. Bye. Where are we going, Kevin? Uh, on our holes. Well, I thought we were on a campsite, so where better to go than on the campsite? People can see where we are as well. Find a new jacket in my car. Have you? <laughs> There's only the pocket rips on Not that. Not one rip. <laughs> Not a Vincent Charity shop then. Well, we're going to have a nice walk. It's not too far. You've got too much time on your hands, you have. I know. It's a nice day. Nice static caravans there. It is a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, warm. It's I don't, know why, don't know why you got a jacket on. Getting as bad as Stephen Finn. Because I'm in the elements. <laughs> All the time, Cal. No, you just come out of a shed. <laughs> Look what I found. Another orange. Yeah. All the other earth live. Kev, there's no such language in my vocabulary as lunch breaks. Oh, they right. don't happen, uh -huh. basically. I start until I drop. You believe that? You believe anything? With the power of orange. Yeah. See that? See what I said, multitasking? Oh, two, two vans. Two vans. Ooh. Finn's busy on one. You've even done them at jaunty angles as yep, well. I like my jaunty angles. Ooh. Yep, Finn's doing that one. There's another feather in your cap. <laughs> so Finn's busy with the glow scout. Do you know what, Kev? There's two good looking vans, isn't there? Aren't they? Mm. Hey? I'm a professional, that. I've just been telling them there's no such word in my vocabulary as dinner break. He's got a new jacket from charity shop as well. This is too bad. Too so what we've got, we've got, look at this, we've got a Globe Car Camp Scout. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got a little six metre chasse on 514. Yeah. So should we do the chasse on first? What are we actually doing? We're going to do a review on. What, on both of them? Yeah. What, in one video or separate videos? Two separate videos. Okay. Well, well, no, we'd do two separate ones. Yeah, it'd be a bit long, wouldn't it, this video? Yeah, people will get bored watching it. Especially with, you, anyway. especially with you waffling on. <laughs> no, you're the king of waffles. Mm -hmm. So what I'm finding is the compact motorhome is getting more and more popular. A lot of people are having a camp, going from camper van to um, a compact. So you're going from that to that. To that. So let's have a look at the comparison between a camper van and a compact van. And let's see what the differences are of them. So by magic, See that? Magic. Look at that, Kev. Yeah. Magic. It does take, by the way, it does take us about five attempts because Kev didn't understand we want the habitation door next to the other habitation well, door. And he didn't get that in his head, did he? He just stuck him on the wrong side. Basically. So let's have a look at the difference between two camper vans. We've got the camper van, we've got the compact. The compact's just under six metres. We have cheated with this one. This is over six metres. It's about 6.3. Um, well, because it was here, that's why we're doing it. Yeah. So you'll get the gist. So, what's a camper van and what's a compact? What we're we getting now? That's a purpose built motorhome, a coach built. So, we've got the four door Fiat chassis and then the, um, a caravan the built motorhome on the was built on the back. This one is, what's this one, Kev? It's a panel van. Panel van that's converted. So, the converters is Globe Car and the converters on there is Chasson. Normally, um, they'll have the model. The model is a Flash 514 on the camper van. It's a Camp Scout. So they're the model. So you're a bit like a Ford Escort. So that's what we've got. So as you can see with both vans, we've both got awnings. Yeah. yeah. The cabs are going to be pretty much as a muchness because it's the cab anyway. One, one's a Fiat, one's a Ford. Yeah. This one, because it's a lower one, won't have an electric step. So. Let's have a quick look inside the camper van. 
they all pretty much as much the saw on the reel. We'll get a few different layouts, but you tend to have a Di dinette. dinette to the front. We'll get the kitchen area here, and then we'll get a, this is a really great washroom, by the way. We've got a washroom as well, and then opposite that, we'll get a fridge. And then on this one, sometimes you might get bench seats at the back, Kev. Yeah. But this one makes a big double bed, or you can make two single beds as well. Loads of storage. And you've got underneath. the headroom as well. Got the headroom. So, that's a brief and outline. Both seats will swivel around. You've got four seat belts as well. Yeah. So let's have a look at the compact. How many berths is this? this I'd is say it? this is going to be a three. Yeah. So let's look at the compact. So, what we are getting here is we're getting a really good sized garage on this van. Actually, we've matched the two vans up quite well against one yeah. another, haven't we, really, yeah. to be honest, because they're very similar layouts. And we're showing the difference with storage as well. Yeah, so, yeah, you're getting... Let's just show the storage on this one, Kev. We've just shown the storage on that with the garage. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, for a van can be... A lot of storage yeah. underneath there. Don't forget, we can take these out yeah. as well. well. We are on the Maxi chassis, so we're... Yeah. yeah. So we show the storage on that. Did they show the storage in there? Did they have to open it up? Briefly. Right, so let's briefly open up again. So again, now the difference with this van is, I'm going to give the game away, that's going to be a fixed bed just like the camper van. But with this van, if I turn this Kev... It takes the bed higher. It takes the bed higher. Which gives you more storage for travelling, like putting your bikes in, etc. Yeah. Even though you've got bike rack on I'll it. I'll just drop that down. So we can adjust the headroom there Kev, can't we? Yeah. So let's have a look inside the motorhome. So, yet again, Kev. Layout's the same. We're getting Dinet. the dinettes. Four belts. Yeah, we're getting a jump seat there. And then we are getting both seats will swivel around. Exactly the same as the camper van. But we're probably getting fitting an extra burner on there. Yeah. Um, sink. We are getting a fridge. But if you remember where the fridge was here, we're getting a wardrobe for more storage. And we're also getting a grill on this We're one. getting a grill. And then at the back... That's the bed in the low position. Yeah. So, I would guess, just as a guess, that bed was bigger. Yeah. Because we are slipping the other way. Yeah. So we do get the width of the van. Now, well, let's have a look in here. Let's just see what we've got. And what we're also getting is a bigger washroom. Big washroom. Where the washroom's not coming out to about here is it no so and then something a little bit extra which we've not seen on these vans before we've seen a drop down bed kev haven't we yeah let me just switch it on usually a drop down double yeah but on this one because it's a three berth we are quite getting there kev you're getting a drop down single you're getting a single which makes a little bit difference yeah so the first thing we notice between the two is what we're able to fit in the motorhome is we can go wider. Yeah. So have you got your tape measure on you? It's over there. Right. So shall we just have a comparison, Kev? Internal width. Yeah, just all that there. So I am going, it's 2.16 or just over seven feet. Mm -hmm. 2.16, just over seven feet. Let's go and have a look at this one. Now, do you want to go from that window or there? I think we ought to go from there, aren't we? window, yeah. Right, just hold me that. Now I'm going at 191. Six foot. Just over six foot. So yeah. I think you're six foot because you're there to the inside. Yeah, of the okay, door. we'll go for that. So we're getting an extra foot. Yeah. So we've had a look in there, and if you think about it, Kev. Makes a lot of a difference, that extra foot. That extra foot makes a massive difference. Yeah. Basically. Shall we see the comparisons with the bed? Yeah. So we know that's going to be seven foot, don't we? Do you know what I mean? We know the bed's going to be seven because yeah, we've just measured. We just measured the width, yeah. So coming out, we're probably 124 foot. Yeah. 124 foot. And we know the bed at the back. Where are you going? Up in the back, so I can see better from here. So we know that's six foot, don't we? Yeah. Just hold me that there, Kev. Yeah, and again, it's quite deceiving now, so this is just shy six foot. Yeah, so you're six foot by six foot. Yeah, so... Bathroom-wise, it's you're pretty much getting the same type of bathroom as in that one. Yeah. The only difference is the bathroom's ending it's here. It's taking up space. Yeah, yeah, but they've used it well. Yeah. That's what you can see. 
Um, I do like how the fridge is high up. And then in the, in the camper van Kev, we have got gas and electric heating and hot water. And then on this one, we do have um, gas and electric hot water. But the difference with this is we do have a Habas batch heating system that works off the diesel. Yeah. So it's two very different camper vans, really. Yeah, similar. Very much the same. Similar age, actually. If this is a, is this a 16. This is a 16, yeah, and 67, I think, I think it's a 17, yeah. and that's a 16, isn't it? Or something. No, it doesn't matter, they're around about the same age anyway, yeah. uh, just for the idea. I think in here as well, you are getting a wider bathroom. Yeah, yeah. You... So basically, if you think about it, Cab, this bathroom's been turned on its side. Yeah. In, in that one. Um, I do get a little bit more feeling of space in here. Yeah. But I think, is that because we do have height? You get more height for a start. So let's just let's just give it an example, eh? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm six foot two and I so can. So we're just over seven right, foot. You <laughs> what? I'm six foot two and I can stand before, right? Isn't it? See a big difference here, Kev. Yeah. Big difference, six and a half foot. Yeah. So it's the height of a standard door now, six six. Yeah. So that's probably what gives the impression of it being feeling a bit smaller. Yeah. Um, but again, if you do take out the beds area and go through, you probably might get a feeling of being bigger. So, really and truthfully, it's two vans giving you exactly the same type of thing. Yeah. It's all down to personal preferences. Do you want a coach built or do you actually want a camper van? Well, the thing is, we always em we emphasise to the customers, choose your layout. Yeah, choose your well, layout. we have got two very yeah. similar layouts, really. Choose your layout wisely because... This is going to act for more storage than what I thought, yeah. to be honest, because what you are getting there is you're getting the garage where you can put things away and that's it. Well, I suppose you're getting it there as well. Mm -hmm. You're getting for, it there. For continental touring, they both so ideal. Yeah. So... Whereas if you go for your, like, your Volkswagens with your rock and roll bed, it's yeah. a whole different ball game, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And do you know what? I can't choose between the two. If you've got to pick one, which would you pick? I'd pick the chassis on. Why? I just like the room, the, the space. Yeah? Well, that's giving it. Yeah. Can you see what I mean? It's a yeah, really yeah, hard yeah. one to pick. Which one would you choose out of the two of them? Like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.